Sheena Excel, where is Smith? This is a live video. Let's get into it. You're welcome for going to Kentucky. Sheena Excel. Can y'all hear me in the back? Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you. Me real quick. Check it out. Perfection, flawless, masterpiece, no mistakes. Back in the 1800s, I was burned at the stake. Metaphor, Mephistopheles, degrees I've achieved. The brain flew what it takes to believe could equal the seven seas. I could reveal the true name of God, but you go insane upon hearing it. Release enough winds to blow down pyramids. I'm the Michelangelo a syllable since I freestyle Genesis been biblical. Yo, since born in my mama vaginal sauna, as a sauna, Graham, I've been fond of phonics. It's ironic, even as an embryonic, fit the one and biblical. Don't that sound biblical? I've been a terror since I terrorth out of the uterus. Evil plans are made to defeat us, as a feat us. Though now I walk in infamy, as a child they had it in for me. Was raised with guns and infantry and diapers and an infancy. The childhood of a hood that was raised in a hood. Cops said, put your hands in the hot sky. I threw my hands down in the hot hood. I can't want to drink wine, nine planets planned it, till it became apparent, my parents shouldn't been a parent, state to state we ransom, I wasn't worth no ransom, money won't you handsome, a nigga wasn't handsome, raised a mind like Charles Manson's, knew I was some manson, but which one that made me strong, created my poison tongue, perfection, flawless, masterpiece, no mistakes, back in the 1800s I was burned at the stake, metaphor, Mephistopheles, degrees I've achieved, the brain flew what it takes to believe would equal the seven seas, I could reveal the true name of God, but you go insane upon on hearing it, releasing up winds to blow down pyramids. I'm the Michelangelo a syllable since I freestyle Genesis been biblical. Check it. Why you cut school? Cause you ain't feel too good. I cut school cause my cuts ain't heal too good. Through all the physical abuse, my mind is through the gift of wordplay. I memorized encyclopedias and dictionaries, wrote anthems from antonyms, harmonies Christ. from harmonies, created cinema from synonyms. Was living to eliminate that illustrious life you live it in. I wrote rhetoricals and rhythms. I could paralyze with a parable, make rhymes out of religion, crucify with a suffix, wow. or suffocate you with a prefix, or lecture so infectious is known to infect the listeners who dissing us. Punctuate, I punctuate my karma's like a comma to put you inside of a coma. Hyphen, dot, dot, semicolon, leave you semi swollen. Question mark, you pregnant or you not? I love you, period. Sum it up, language is my essence. I fucked up in all my adolescence till my mom was adolescence. Laws I stole convenient, still I robbed the convenience store. Love mom, fuck mom, I ain't love me no more. Mentally, it didn't register. The bitch, empty the register, bitch. You're just a cashier, bitch. Get the cashier. I shoot you in your cabbage. Call me getaway cabbage. Words ain't making me no loot. Don't change, don't doubt your average. Regardless, regardless, they stole my innocence. Innocence, the judge sentenced me to three lifetime sentences to write my life in time and sentences. All is my dark arch nemesis. They want us off the premises. That's what the premise is. Locked on a tear where you can't shed a tear at. I study more Shakespeare than an African shakes a spear at. And the whole world fear that. And it hurts. I got caught. Killing time, but then I got away with words. I mean, passionate, dude. Passionate. That guy is a crowd pleaser, 100% performer, 100%. I see him doing spoken word at a bar and fucking killing it. I tried to do that back in Montreal. I tried to do spoken word. I was to read poems, but they were too fucked up. People didn't get it. They didn't get what I was throwing down, bro. <laughs> Listen, I, I love Chino XL, man. Uh, he, he's Me my too. top five dead or alive. Uh, all no time. shit. He's in my top five. And who yeah, was it uh, last week? Last week when you mentioned, oh, Raekwon. You mentioned Raekwon last week. was in your top five. No, I didn't say top five. I said he was top ten, Raekwon. Oh, top ten, top ten. Yeah, so who's yeah. your top five, Joe? Oh, man. Do we really need to get into that? No, no, right no. For, forget about it. We'll, we'll make an no, entire listen. video. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I, 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 I'll break it down real quick. All right. Okay. Not in in no particular order. These are just my top five all time favorite MCs. Chino XL. Number one. Immort no, he's no, 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 no. I said order. in no particular order. Oh, no, order. no. Right. My bad. I was just Ch focusing Chino, on I'm, I'm the just, I'm just counting them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Chino gotcha. XL, okay. Yeah. Immortal Technique. Big L. Mm. Oh, okay, I love Joel, Big L. Joel Ortiz. Mm. Ooh. All right. Nas. Nas. Okay. I'd have to go uh, Cannabis, K. Reno, uh, Keith Murray, Jizza. Keith Murray? Love Keith Murray, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Love him. It's like there's this, there's this punk rock band named uh, Bracket. 
they're they're real oddballs, but they roll around with the punk rock guys. But no one really likes them, you know. But I know I know people love Keith Murray. I'm a big Keith Murray fan, and probably Vinny Paz is definitely up there. But I don't know, top four, top four anyway. Keith Murray's a new one. Remember remember it, Ignacio a few a few months ago when we got into Keith Murray? It was like this yeah. blew my mind. It yeah, blew yeah, my yeah. mind how much I like him. Just like the last guy. That's the thing, man. I have a weird taste in in. In, in like what was that last track? Fucking Quell and Maker, Quell and Maker. I love those guys. They're like my new favorite band, F- right, favorite group. Got, we, let's let's rate the Chino track. Chino track. Um, dude, very empathic, very honest, very transparent, very chill, very vibing, very energy filled. What a performance! I watched the video. Sorry, I didn't put it on earlier. You guys saw the end of it. I appreciate the honesty of it. I appreciate the, uh, oh, you know, like very transparent. Um, talking about he, he was talking about his cut stone heel and he showed up his arm in the video. I don't know if you guys caught that part. Like maybe he was cutting himself as a child. And well, he's you talking know, about the abuse he got, the abuse. He yeah, was the, the abuse, right? So I mean, very honest and that what he grew up with. I don't know if he was a foster kid or whatever, but it spoke to me. And I'm going to go ahead and give that an eight point three because I, uh, in the in the proper mood, I'd really enjoy that song. Just remembering some of the people I've supported over the years who maybe had self injurious behaviors that I came to know and work with on a regular basis. It becomes a part of your life, people thinking these things and asking for your counsel about these things. <sighs> but anyway. That dude, was yeah. a fucking mouthful, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, you know, the brain gets going. The brain gets Ignacio. going. What do you guys think of? Okay. Uh, I, 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 I don't think this is his best work. Um, I've heard so many other tracks from him that show his like <coughs> true, true yeah. MC prowess his MC skill level aggression other than not necessarily just even the aggression it's just there's so other so many other tracks that show really what he can do as an MC mm-hmm. um, this was cool for what it was um, but I to be honest with you I probably wouldn't I, I would probably flip it about halfway through and uh, so that's a seven was it seven. too emo for you? Yeah, was man. it? Yeah. You guys might need to lay off the whatever it is that y'all have been smoking. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on a second, though. There, you have to admit that there's a little bit of bias coming from your end, considering you just named the man in your top five. Yeah, of course. That's, 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 true. that's true. That's true. So I listen. Dug it. I so, dug it. Chino is, is top five rapper. I'm going to give the song a 10 because of how deep nice. it was. How, Oh, how, dude, exactly, exactly. How deep it was, how well put together. Now, I wish that you would have played the studio version. The live version is ah. great, so you can see him put the emotion and all of that stuff into it. But the studio version, I think, was a little bit more, it was it was put together okay, so you know, maybe a, a I'm certain missing that. way. So, it, so it's got maybe a certain I'm vibe back. to it. Uh, yeah, you know Ignacio I mean? is, Ignacio does, like, I've known Ignacio for years, and he, he does see three <laughs> things through a production lens. Where it's like, because these are all playlists, right? We're making playlists here. We're making mm-hmm. mixtapes here. Like, that's what we're doing. Right. And, and, and I think that you you definitely view the song through a production value more than I do. I get a lot, I'm get more emotional. Uh, Ignacio is more pragmatic. Joe is kind of a split between both of us, which is fucking perfect. <laughs> to be honest, well, you couldn't ask for you couldn't ask for a better a better combination. I'm the wild drunk idiot. We got we got we got you smart dudes keep me under the wraps. I love it. <laughs> perfect. It's exactly perfect. But uh, I, I loved it. I'm with I'm with Joe the Butcher on that. I think the uh, the exposition of the rawness and openness was exquisite. 